Um, anyway, what we've got here is, uh, from what I can tell, like I said, I've never played it. What we've got here is turn-based strategy set in the uh, the Warhammer End Times universe. So, uh, if you are not familiar, the End Times is what the the transitional phase between Warhammer Fantasy Battles, which was great, and then um, uh, Age of Sigmar, which is trash. Uh, and this is right. This is the uh, whatever the fuck you would call it. Um, the the transition from one to the other. Uh, so anyway, again, it's turn-based tactics, and you know I love turn-based tactics, so I figured... Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, this game is $4 right now. That's why I bought it. It's, uh, it's $4. And the cat has awakened. So I'm just give I'm giving the cat a second to come over here. Whoa, well, the screen looks rad, right? It looks, it looks pretty cool so far. Anyway, you know, you know that I'm a sucker for turn-based tactics, so... Let's see what this game has to offer. Okay. By the way, uh, if the game audio is too loud, too soft, please let me know. Alright, so it looks like uh, we've got a bunch of game slots where we can start a new game, and well, that's what we'll do. So choose a name for the save. There you go. The end times are here. The three-eyed king is leading his armies of chaos as they make their final assault on the old world. Heroes from all races and lands are venturing forth. Sworn enemies standing shoulder to shoulder fighting the demons of the apocalypse. Proud warriors search for powerful artifacts to aid their lords in the coming war. Sorcerers toil for untold power while witch hunters seek to settle long-held scores. What's up, baby? Uh, dark elf assassins fill ledgers in blood and berserk dwarf slayers topple the mightiest of foes. Altdorf... The once shining capital city of the Empire is thick with the stench of chaos and plague. In these desperate days, would be enemies from uneasy packs or form uneasy packs to fight the dark forces. Two such unlikely allies, a captain of the Empire and a dark elf sorceress, have put their differences aside and banded together to complete an otherwise impossible quest. They are tasked with retrieving the Mace of Hellstern, an invaluable item to both Dark Elves and humans in the fight against Chaos. So we're on the same side as Dark Elves, as humans, okay. Dauntless, they enter the ruins beneath the city of Altdorf. Alright, so we're going to get a little tutorial here. First step, select a warrior by clicking them. Their movement grid will appear. Choose a tile and click it to move your warriors. Now proceed to the door. Alright, so here we got, we got straight up top-down turn-based strategy, so I like that already. And so I can select... Okay, this is Marcus Hammerfall. That's the, the guy from the Empire. This is Maharva Darkshade. She is the Dark Elf. And I guess it'll tell us about all this stuff in a minute, so let's, let's not try to get ahead of ourselves here. So it says to move towards the door. This is obviously how far we can move. I don't know what these things are. Probably like action points. Or those are movement points at the very least. Oh no, they are action points. So action points are used to move and fight. Moving one tile costs one action point. The cost of weapons and items are shown on their icons. Oh, I see. Once you have spent your action points, click the in turn button. Alright, so he's used all his action points. If he wanted to attack, he would take two action points to use either one of these weapons. For this lady, she's got uh, what looks like a probably a health potion, uh, a dagger, maybe a throne dagger, I don't know, and then some kind of staff. And I don't know what that hammer, what those things mean in the bottom right. Uh, but yeah, so we need to move to the door with her as well. Alright, then we end our turn. Alright, so I guess... We actually need to open the door. What's up, Taki? How's it going, man? 
So we'll use one movement point to get here, and now the door will open. Ah, okay. Now can I uh, can I like pan? Oh, I can. Oh, I can use W A S D. I didn't even realize it. All right. No Xanima today? Nah. I'm just gonna check this game out. All right. So we've got a rat. We got two rats and uh, whatever this is. This top-down view is trippy. It's a little, it's a little odd, but I can get used to it. Uh, oh, we can zoom in and out. By the way. Oh, look at this! Look at this! You can change the angle a little bit. It's, it doesn't have to be straight top-down, Artie. Ah, I like this. I like this a lot better. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Now, obviously, when you change your view like this, some of the some of the map is obscured. So top down could be a little better unless you want to go like this way. That's all right. All right. So I've got. I don't know what the difference is between these two things here. So this says longsword. It does six to eight damage. It has two attacks and a twenty percent to get a crit. Uh. Whereas the mace does 1 to 15 crushing, it has 1 attack, a range of 1, critical chance is a little bit higher. So it could be 1 to 15, I see, okay. Well, alright, so it'll take me 2 more action points to move here. And then it'll cost me 2 action points to attack. Enemies in range are marked with a red square. Click an enemy to attack them, reduce their hit points to 0 to kill them. I don't... Oh, I guess that means that anywhere within this square I can attack that dude. I think I have to move first. Yeah, I have to move first. Okay. Bitch! I only hit him for five and he's dead. That's cool. Alright, now I don't know what this lady does. The Dark Energy Staff... It does six to ten crushing. She gets two attacks... It has a range of 5. 1% chance to kill the enemy outright. Uh, dagger right here, this is a range of 1. And that's a potion of health. Okay. So we're going to use the staff because it has a range of 5. And I need 2 points remaining to use it, so I can only move 3. So now I still have two points. Now we can use the staff. It has four hit points. Ah, we missed. All right, it's in the turn. Okay, our rat got a little attack in. You've been attacked. Use healing potions to heal your warriors. Green squares show the warriors that can be healed. Warriors with zero hit points will be knocked down. All right, so what did we what did we lose? We lost three hit points. We don't need to be healed. That's ridiculous. Uh, let's take out this rat. All right, and then I still have three movement points, and I can I can I guess I can attack again. Yes, I can. Our first attack missed, but the second one hit. All right, active weapons, items, and armor icons have a red border. Equip a new item by clicking its icon. Different items are effective against different enemies. Okay. Alright, so his turn is done. Okay, so this is his health right here. Alright. I like that. Now, since she's right next to him... I wonder if it matters. I don't know if crushing or piercing would be better against this bat. What Does it tell me? Oh, well, she killed it with her first attack. Uh, let's move her right there. And then we got two more up that way. All right, well, we might get attacked by that rat, and then, of course, by that thing. That's okay. That's probably not good. Okay, they didn't attack for some reason, I guess because it's a tutorial. All right, so I guess what I'll do... 
I would move around here to. I don't know if you get a bonus for flanking, but I don't want to use all my my action points moving. You know what I mean? So instead, we'll do that, and we can still move twice. Uh, I guess I'll interpose here between the two of them. And then over here, I'm going to try the dagger to see what this does against these enemies. Okay, that's two attacks again, so that's good. Uh, she has four. Oh, okay, so we can move right here. And we can attack again, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, move the camera by clicking an empty area and dragging the mouse. Or use WASD. Zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Alter the viewing angle by pressing and holding the middle mouse button. Camera buttons can be found at the top of the screen. Alright, cool. Alright, so I guess we gotta we gotta move to this uh, to this door here. Alright. Okay, a wood elf glade guard slumps bloody and chained to a wall. The mace is nowhere to be seen. Beastmen surround her, howling for more violence. Perhaps this wood elf knows what happened to the mace. And as you know, we're looking for a mace. That's why we're here. Holy shit. What is this? Dude, that's a lot of enemies, man. And there's the elf that's chained up right here. Alright, what? One, two, three, four... Wait. One, two, three, four, five rats and three beastmen. Alright. So again, I don't know how to tell who is weak to crushing and who is weak to piercing. Uh, we have a range of five, though, so I can attack from here with this staff. I don't even have to move forward. And we have one more movement point. I don't know if I should just jump right in there. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the... Is Warhammer Quest 1 better than 2? I've never played the first one, Ice. By the way, how's it going, man? Uh, the bar is next to the portrait. Oh! Like this right here, I guess? Hmm. That's alright. Okay, let's, uh... I'm going to leave her where she is. And I'm going to move in front of her with this dude if I can, yeah. I have a feeling that she's squishy. That's my guess? Yeah, no, you're probably right. Piercing, um... Oh, you can't see that. Oh, you know what? God damn it. Hold on a second. Let me move... Let me move this damn thing here. And you, uh, you know what, let me just, let me just hide the sub goal for now. That, that'll probably be better. Okay. Oh, you know what, that's where it shows the enemy. Damn it! <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, that's where it shows the enemy. That, that's probably not a smart idea. Okay, that should be good. Hmm, I kind of want to play this game, but the Steam reviews are mixed. Dude, Ice, it's it's $4 right now. This game is $4. If you want to play it, I would get it. Alright, we're out of turns. Uh, let's go. Oh, shit, three attacks? When all the enemies are defeated, a dungeon can be completed by moving all your warriors to the exit tiles. Okay. Alright, here's... What up, Smokey? Uh, yeah, we're gonna play Minecraft Dungeons tonight. Uh, for the late stream, Smokey. I just wanted to try this. I wanted to try something a little new today. Okay, so I want to use a healing potion. 
You know what? He doesn't need a healing potion yet. I, I changed my mind. He doesn't need that. Instead, I'm guessing this guy... He does slashing damage, but again, those bars don't seem to tell me anything. Oh yeah, I didn't realize it was this cheap. Yeah, dude. If you want, if you want to get it, get it, dude. Four bucks ain't shit. Oh, we critted his bitch ass. And that means we can attack again, and then I can step right here, and then this lady can use her staff just like that, and then check this out. We might need line of sight, but let's see. Yeah, oh, we got it, we got it. Oh, fucking missed, come on. Alright, you missed because you suck. Beastman didn't attack, that's good. Alright, again, it, now it seems to me that uh, that slashing damage is very effective against these guys because we critted and killed the dude a second ago. Eh, alright. Alright, he's dead. And I don't have enough action points to attack, but I can move. We'll move towards this guy. There we go. And then we'll move her up. And she cannot reach... She can't reach him from here. Damn it. Well, we're gonna move her up. Move her up just like that. And... What else do we have? We just have one rat and that dude. Okay. Yeah, I... Like I said, I don't even think the, the health potion is going to be necessary right now. That's good. Get him! Just like, you know what? You can finish this dude off, too. Nice. Alright, so now we got to move to the exit tiles. Dude, the controls are, are very straightforward here, and, and the mechanics, I like it. I like it. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's move right there, and then move her right there. There we go! Alright. Marcus Hammerfall and Maharva Darkshade. We got a hit ratio, kills, damage dealt, received, deflected, HP heal times knocked down, XP from the dungeon, cool. All right, so this I guess these are rewards we got. We got a Avion or something, a Wood Elf Glade Guard. That's who we rescued. We got a bag of Guild. That's nice. And we got a Griffin Shield, which is usable by... Brook. Ek. <laughs> Gra. And Whoop. I don't know, I don't know what those stand for. Um, we'll find out. The Heraldic Beast emblazoned on this shield protects its user. It gives you melee deflection and range deflection. Okay. Alright, prologue. That was the tutorial. Now we're in the prologue. The enemy of my enemy. Some sort of classes or race, I guess? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Smokey. Probably, yeah, probably classes. Uh, my thanks for the aid, states the Wood Elf as your warriors release her from the chains. I know nothing of the Warhammer universe. No, it's all good. You know what WP stands for? Willpower. No, it stands for writing prompt. Uh... A, a larger... Okay, hold on. So we rescued this wood elf. A larger beast man with a broken horn stole the mace and left me here uh, for them. She gestures to the fallen monstrosities. WordPress. Wit. Uh, yeah, what's up, owl? Uh, I can track his trail. He's heading west towards Karaburg. Each driven by their own reason, your eclectic party heads after the broken horned beast man. Dude, look at this map. This looks fucking sweet. Alright, the world map. The world map contains settlements and quests. Complete region quests to unlock new areas. Travel to Karaburg now. Alright, so we... Okay, so this is our party. That's the place we're going. 
could you choose a race you play with? No, no, no. It, it starts you off as a, a guy from the Empire and a Dark Elf Sorceress. Uh, and then we just got a Wood Elf recruited into our party. So no, you don't get to choose the starting race. Alright, so I just want to see how this works here. Um, so this will tell you what the place is if you click on it. And then you can travel to it. So the white walls of Karaburg tower uh, reign high above the horizon. The city has been hit hard, but is still standing for now. Remember, this is the end times. Uh, this is a time in the Warhammer universe where everything is going to shit, like Apocalypse style. Uh, let's Alright, so let's just do that. Let's travel. Alright, the region's story. Region quests can be found in settlements. They further the story and unlock the map. Click the region quest symbol now. Which is that, that, that shield thing that's on fire. Oh, I don't know what these things are. Okay. Very Game of Thrones opening. What up, Petrov? Oh, so these must be different types of missions. Right? Oh, that's a tavern. Warriors and adventurers from all over the land gather in this tavern, ready to lend their skills. Oh, so you can recruit people. And this is a market where you can buy shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, already for real, man. Though I love the art style. Alright, anyway, so if it has this cr this uh, shield with the fire, that means it's a story or a region quest. Okay, so this is Bloody Water, Middenland, Act 1. You're one and only nut. <laughs> the only palace left standing in Karaburg. A motley crew of great swords and servants form a tunnel for your warriors. A man in a long and slightly dirty white robe stands at the end. He taps his foot impatiently. Alright. A trumpet sounds and forward steps a young servant. Announcing Duke Ludolf von Bildholfen, son of Leopold, destroyer of the Gorgon, smiter of... He continues through the Duke's various titles as your party looks on. Wishes you to know that he knows the location of the foul bestigor you seek. The Duke suddenly steps forward and addresses your group directly. Enough of this pomposity. Look, we need your help. Something is poisoning the city's water supply. In a few days' time, what little we have will run out. He subconsciously wets his lips and continues. Help our fair city and I'll share the location of your beast man. Looks like your warriors have no choice. Alright, so it says 50 gold. I guess that's what they're going to give us, maybe? Alright, restore the city's water supply, and Duke Ludolf will disclose which direction the Broken Horn took. So this is the water supply uh, quest. Alright, let's do it. Let's travel. Okay, so here's our, our, our uh, whatever you would call it, our warband. Click the inventory button beneath a warrior to change their loadout. Click an item slot to choose a new item. Equip your Empire Captain with his new shield. When you're ready, click the Enter button. The way the building came up out of the ground, clockwork style, just reminded me of the opening sequence of Game of Thrones. Ah. Okay, so this is our, this is our party. Now, it said we need to go to the Marcus's inventory and equip his new shield. Uh, so where where the, where the hell is his shield? I guess we have to click on something here. Oh, okay, you click on the new, the empty space, okay. Yeah, she's a dark elf. Knight of the blazing sun, baby, praise the sun. Maharva can get my loadout. <laughs> By the name of Sigmar, what the fuck does that dark elf do here? This is the end times, Petrov. All kinds of weird stuff happens. All right, there's our griffin shield. All right, now that we have the shield equipped, we have these 40% uh, melee deflection, 40% range deflection. All right. And we go back. And we don't have anything else for these other people, so we're just going to go on in. Alright, Middenland Act 1, Bloody Water. Your warriors follow the city springs into the hills and find themselves standing in front of a cave entrance. Bodies and gore litter the floor. Bloody trophies adorn the walls. 
Loud braying and the primitive beat of drums can be heard in the cavernous darkness. Think you've found what's poisoning the water. Stealing their nerves, your warriors venture into the gloom. End times do not exist, what you talking? Yeah, they do. And you know they do. Alright. Yeah, Warhammer COVID. Alright. So, let's, let's open this gate. Alright, we have got spiders of different sorts here. Uh, we've got a giant spider with 10 HP. It does 1 to 2 piercing. It has 2 attacks. This is another giant spider has 13 HP, 1 to 2 damage, and only has 1 attack. So the red spiders are more threatening. Okay. I only have one more movement uh, thing left. So, I, I can't attack right now. I can't attack, so... Now, she can attack from five spaces away. So, I could move... I should be able to attack twice here, with this staff. Oh, crit! Okay, we're finally gonna get this explained. Weapons have one of three damage types, crushing, slashing, and piercing. Armor and outfits can be resistant to these damage types. Resistance bars are located on the warrior and enemy displays. You were right, Artie. Make sure you choose the correct weapon for the fight. I still don't know how to read it. Oh! Maybe you have to kill them to find out. Look at this here. Now, what does that mean? What the hell does that mean? Does that mean... Does that mean, does the, the black bar represent how, does the black bar represent how much damage you do? So this means they're not, they're not hurt very bad by, by piercing, resistant to piercing. Petrov, this game is $4 right now on Steam, it's on sale. So if that's true, the black bar means that piercing is not the way to go, right? Right? Whereas crushing and slashing are the way to go. Okay, can she can she hit this from here? Yeah. Alright. Let's see what this wood elf does. This wood elf has a bow, but it takes three action points to shoot the bow, but it does piercing damage. What's the range on this damn thing? The range is ten! Alright, what's up, sire? Alright. Okay. Ambush? What the fuck? What do you mean, ambush? Oh, shit! Oh, shit, we're getting flanked! Oh, man. Is this like a Warhammer XCOM? I mean, yeah. Uh, wood elves are, I don't know, wood elves. They grief uh, Britonia towns. They I. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take care of this spider. Using slashing damage. Got a crit on him. Uh, I've still got three movement points. I think I'm going to back up so that I can help my homies over here because these dudes ain't gonna be able to get to us on the next turn. And so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use... So this staff does crushing damage. I think you have to kill enemies to find out what they're resistant to. And she can attack again. Damn it. There we go. And she cannot attack again because it takes three action points. Uh, I'm gonna have her move right here. I think it's a she anyway. Bat has no resistance. See, I... Now, what the hell? You can actually see the, the individual stats. I wonder if I can click on this and it'll show me something. No, again, I, I don't get that, but that's alright. Alright, we have some movement points left, but it doesn't matter. 
Let's uh, let's end the turn. All right. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have I'm gonna have her finish this rat off. Oh, you can't! You gotta be kidding me, right? Do it again. Okay, we got it. She's got one movement point. That's fine. Uh, okay. By the way, what the fuck happens in Bretonia during the end times? I don't know. I think the black bar is the percentage of damage you do. Full bar means full damage. Okay. Alright. We can take a shot here. Okay, so according to this... According to this, piercing damage does it, they is not going to be very good, right? And that's what this bow does, is piercing damage. And that only did three damage out of a possible ten to thirteen. So I think you're I think you're right, Owl. I think you're right. Alright, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Okay, luckily they did not attack. This game starts off really easy, it seems. Okay, so this dude is resistant to piercing. I'm going to use slashing anyway. I could use uh, bashing or whatever damage if I wanted to, but I'm going to use slashing, probably. This could do anything from 1 to 15. This is guaranteed to do at least 6 if there's no resistance. Or right around there. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. I can... It only takes two action points to attack, so I, I have three left, so I can move right here. And attack. There we go. Let's move the mage up here. And let's move the archer. The archer's not going to be able to attack this time, but that's alright. Move over here. All right, the, the spider chose not to move. Interesting tactic. Can she attack again? Yes, she can. Is this thing dead, finally? I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Let's remove our wood elf over there. She can't move anymore. Marcus can move over here. All right, we got another gate to get through. So we can just keep moving all our movement points. Right, I want to keep him in front. Eh, well, I guess that's not going to work. Well, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move that the elf over there. And we're going to wait. We're going to wait till the next turn. So everyone can get close here. And I don't want the, the elf making the first move into here, because who knows what's waiting for us. Whoa! Alright, we got one, two, three, four, five, six spiders. Alright. I wonder if I get in the way of her line of sight. She can only attack ten spaces, and like... Can she attack from here? Yes, she can. Damn it! That's alright. Ah, shit. I don't know, man. I guess I'll just move here. And let's put the mage... Can she attack from here? Yeah. Damn it! Yeah, the choke point might be a good idea, but at the same time... I'm one... Well, I guess that is a good point. But I'm kind of stuck here now. Well, I have one more movement. I can move a little bit back. Shield finally deflected something. That's good. So it seems to me that the green spiders are ranged and the red spiders are melee. back it up a little. 
Maharba can choke my point? Nice try. Dude, really? Come on, finish this thing off. There we go, got that crit. And then we should be able to attack from here. Now, the this spider is resistant to piercing damage, so this is not going to do much. This spider is also resistant, so that doesn't make a difference. Alright. Yeah, that barely does any damage. Alright, you're going to stay where you are. Let them come to us. I, I, actually, the green spiders don't have to come to us. Okay, they chose to do nothing. Don't miss for two fights, then everyone misses everything. Yeah. I don't think they're going to come to the choke point, man. We got to take it to them. We got to take it to them. Ah. Come on, dude. I can get one attack after this. There we go with the crit, baby. And then this girl has a range of five. Can she hit him? Oh, she can't. She can't hit him, can she? No, she can't. How about from here? What? What is? What is the issue? Why can't you? Uh, I guess because this guy's in the way. Ah, yeah, I couldn't attack him. He didn't have a red square under him. I guess it's because I'm in the way. Yeah, dude's in front of her, yeah. Alright. Dude, I'm loving that shield. Dude, that shield's deflecting everything. She can only move twice, because she needs three points to attack. Dude, this... This Wood Elf sucks! Oh, there's another one back there. That other spider's just chilling, man. Damn it, we're still going to be just out of range. Alright, we'll, we'll wait there. If it were a Skaven head, shoot through Marcus like it's nothing. Alright, let's do this. Hey, what up, Verite? How's it going, man? Alright. We took care of that issue. Let's, uh, let's move up to the door. A huge cavern awaits with a sacrificial altar at the at one end right above the river. Looks like you found who's been poisoning the water. Whoa! Let's take a look at what we got here. We got some beast men. We got lots of Oh man, look at this guy. This is some kind of These are some kind of special ass spiders, aren't they? Or are those the same ones? I think those are the same ones. Beastman Gore. Another beast man. Unger Archer. That's an archer. Oh yeah, he's got a bow. I didn't notice that. He's got a bow too. And then... That's another... Who is this? That's another archer. Dude, they've got four archers! Shit. It's pretty great. Hey man, are end times any good? Dude, I'm, I'm liking this game a lot, man. It's on sale for $4 right now on Steam. Ah, shit. Okay. Alright, we're gonna wait just like this at the choke point. What up, Glooms? Alright. 
like I said, it, it appears that here at the very beginning of the game, uh, the difficulty's not that bad. Because there's a lot of times where they either don't move or they move and they don't attack. Alright, so this spider is resistant to piercing, but we do slash damage anyway. But I think this guy's probably more dangerous. But he's resistant to slash damage, so I need to switch to my mace here. Ah, oh, dude, you're killing me, Smalls. Someone told me Borderlands was free on Epic. That eh, wouldn't surprise me. Get him. There we go. Now, if you miss this shot, so help me God. Alright, this beast man is not resistant. He is not resistant to piercing, so this should do at least 10 damage. He's only got 10 hit points left. We should kill him. There we go. And we're going to move forward. They're not going to come to us. They're not going to come to the choke point. That's what we've learned. So there we go. Borderlands 1 and 2 are the shit. I haven't played 3 because it looked dumb. 3 looks exactly like 1 and 2. How I don't see what the difference is. Alright, shield deflected. Dude, the shield is the shit! Alright. Okay, what is this guy resistant to? He's resistant to slashing, so I'm gonna use my mace. Five damage from the mace. Oh, it can do 1 to 15. I got another attack. It's all right. Boom! All right, let's try to... Let's step forward. Let's move the sorceress here. We get another attack. Come on. Oh, I can't... What? I've got two action points left. Oh, there we go. All right, critted him. The wood elf can hit this one from here. All right. Ah. All oh, right, all right. Escape from Tarkov wipe today. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, fresh start. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've just lost shit. Yeah. Tarkov sucks. Uh anyway, I know that's going to piss a lot of you off, but uh, Tarkov sucks. Dude, now my shield ain't blocking shit. Ambush! Fuck! Where are they? Oh, I guess they just appeared in here. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I bought this on Android or Apple Store a while back. It was pretty cool. It's $4 on Steam right now, Glooms. As a matter of fact, all Warhammer titles are on sale on Steam right now. Never played Tarkov, and never will. I heard it sucks. Yeah. Hey, it doesn't suck. It's a fun shit to watch as a viewer. I don't know how it is to play, but I definitely want to see you stream it. I own Tarkov. I own the game. But I've already told y'all what my problems with Tarkov are. All right, this is not good. All right, let's do let's do this first. We're going to heal that dude first. Oh, I didn't mean to heal twice, damn it. Is that what happened? Nice. Nice. Oh shit, she got another shot. Whoa, death blow. Death blows are chained attacks. They cost no additional action points. Death blows are more likely if a warrior has a high speed stat. I didn't even. Uh, okay. Yeah, I did heal twice. Is it finally time for me to dive into Total War? Why not? Tarkov has the best gameplay loop of any FPS. The stress levels, however, are, are off the charts. You have to have a second monitor, it's gonna be sick, you can have the map open, your complaint ain't valid. 
whatever, whatever. Play Tarkov all you like. It's just going to piss you off, and you're going to get mad, and you're going to stop playing it, just like every one of you has already done that has already played it. And then you've got to come back here and tell me how awesome the game is, and you're all too pissed to play it. Come on. Uh, all right. All right, we might as well move over here. All right. Dude, thank God these archers suck. Hey, 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 I never played Tarkov, so please stream it pretty please. Dude, there's no way in shit. Maybe you're just bad at the game. Maybe you should just play COD. You can have the exact same mindset as people who play COD. There's no difference. I could 360 fucking no-scope you fucking easy, dude. There's nothing you could do about it. You're just too scared to play because you know I'll get, you'll get fucking wrecked by my superior FPS skills. Oh, that's weak. I'm too much of a wuss to play Tarkov, but it is a really sick game. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, we got that death blow. Sweet! I don't know how that triggers, but that's that's cool. I need to get cover from their arrows, man. We gotta try to get as much cover as we can from these guys. Hey, y'all, Odin made me cry. Oh, that's alright. I don't even play Tarkov. I've played it like three times. I'm just joking. The new Modern Warfare is pretty dope, though. Yeah, right. Okay. Now these other guys, uh, I guess they could just move and shoot. Yeah, I, it doesn't really matter. I couldn't get cover. Hey, what up, Cabell? Like I said, I own Tarkov, but I just I have no desire to play it whatsoever. Not at all. Good, that protected us from getting shot by these guys, by moving over here. Alright, no resistance, so uh, I'm going to use the sword. Because I get two attacks, and I miss one of them. That's alright, we can attack again. Ah! Dude! Do it again. Do it again. Come on. Alright, again, we're trying to stay out of these dudes, out of their line of sight if we can. They can probably move right here and shoot, or move over here and shoot, but we'll see what happens. No? Okay, they didn't do anything. Alright. I don't know what's up anymore. Uh, this makes me wish there was a decent triple-A or even double-A or even A and a half tactical Warhammer RPG. I mean, I don't see what's wrong with this. I, I, I don't see what's wrong with this at all. I have it, but when I played, only Factory and Customs would load without stuttering, and I didn't know where the extracts were. This is like XCOM, but lame. Uh, you think XCOM is not lame? Is that what you're saying? Or you're definitely extremely confused. But then again, you just hate on every game, so that doesn't that doesn't uh, surprise me at all. Uh, can we hit from here? Can't hit from. Damn it! All right. I am going to move in. I'm going to move in. I'm tired of of hiding here.
Uh, definitely not top of the line, but I can play most new games pretty well. Oh, your computer. Uh, thank you, Odin, for straw manning. It's the only thing you say when you're wrong, but alright. What, what straw man? You said this is like XCOM but lame, and I said XCOM is fucking lame. What, what is straw man about that? Ah, shit, two more beastmen. Oh, shit, they're right next to us, too. Oh, that's not good. All right, it's time for this wood elf to use her sword. Oh, got that crit for four points of damage. Gotcha. Okay, we handled that. Uh, okay. What is he resistant to? Nothing. Nice. And we can attack again. Yeah! What's left? There's this guy. And that guy. Yeah, it looks like there's just two dudes left here. That's kind of weird when it does the enemy turn, it takes control of the camera away from you and sometimes you can't see what's happening. Oh shit, I need to switch back to the bow. Nice. Let's move up. I laughed pretty hard when he said stop straw manning Girthsy yesterday. Uh, there's always modding sites like Lover's Lab, so you never know. Okay. How the hell... Is this... This guy's not even doing shit. I guess now he's probably going to attack. Yep. Yeah, they gotta fix that camera when the, the enemy attacks. What the fuck? So she'll be ready with a sword attack by her next turn. I should be able to attack from here. And, uh... We'll just put her here. And we got one movement there, one movement there, okay. You're really gonna use a bow from melee range? Give me a break. Get the fuck out of here, dude. You're wasting my damn time, come on. Hell yeah! There we go. Alright! Uh, what's up, Zach George? Whew. It's lame how them enemies just stood at the back the whole fight, and XCOM, you'd be fucked already. Uh, I dreamt about some friends last night, Odin. One of them asked me if I knew of a streamer called Odin the Uberwhelming. <laughs> hey, what's up, Ross Meister? What happened with Underrail? I bought that game after I first saw it here. Uh, I haven't played it in since I bought it, really. It's a good game. I, I just, I've been playing so many other games. They should make Urtuk 2 with semi-3D graphics like this. That would be tight. Uh, okay, turns out Subverse will have combat inspired by XCOM. Holy fuck, that game got 1.5 million euros on Kickstarter. A porn game with a big budget. Oh, how shocking. Uh, people pay for sex shit? Crazy. Uh, okay. Let's see what we get here. Two bags of gold. Oh, we get a bomb. Damn. Oh, shit. I didn't know there were going to be bombs. All right. And trinkets. Worth gold. All right. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Covered in gore, your warriors emerge victorious. Al already the springs look healthier, well, less bloody. A great sword is waiting outside the cave. The duke sends his thanks, he says gruffly as he hands you a map and a bag of coins. Unfolding the map, you see a chapel near the town of Baronfire, marked with a big cross. Alright, so that's, uh, mission 2 of 10 to, of this region has been completed. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, it's disappointing how he starts a game series and all of a sudden it's like it never existed. Very underwhelming. I mean, it's pretty simple. I, I try a new game. I, if I like it, you know, I'll keep playing it. But if I keep playing that game, people start asking me, what happened to this game? What happened to that game? And so I try to play that game. And then people ask me, what happened to this game? And what happened to that game? And then I try to play that game. And then they're like, what happened to this game? What happened to that game? You know what I mean? Like, uh, never underestimate the horny guy. He can give ample amounts of money for something fringe. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but porn games are not that big in the West. <laughs> well, I guess. I guess that's true. Uh, are you saying we can't have it all? No, no, that's not what I'm saying, Owl. Put the pitchfork down. <laughs> the moral of the story is play only a single game. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, it's like, it would be much simpler if you had a schedule or something. I mean, I can make a schedule if y'all want a schedule. That's fine. I can do that. If people ask, you'd be like, dude, check the schedule. I mean, that's I can do that, Petrov. Porn games may not be that popular, but the sex mods are. Oh, yeah. Uh, you do a good job keeping it fresh. Thank you, Al. Uh, I've purchased two games because of you. Well, thank you. Uh, that's, that's great to hear, man. Uh, okay. So here's the, here's the damn thing. Is this another town? Let's go. Let's go to this town. Uh, I appreciate such streamers playing only a single game at a long, long time with one day of the week left for chat recommendations. The only verite. The only problem with that is whatever game that you play all the time gets turns into a fucking chore, man. You know what I mean? Uh, like, if, if I... Like, Exanima... If I have a main game, it's Exanima. You know what I mean? And, uh... I get so burned out on Exanima so often, man. No matter how much I love that game, and it's my favorite game, I get so burnt out on it, dude. Like, for me, I, I've got to switch it up. I can't be that guy that plays the exact same game every day forever. I can't do it. Uh, now we know why Glooms doesn't stream GTA 5. He's got the naked hooker mod. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, Petrov and, and, and Ross. Let's just, let's just cool it, y'all. Let's just cool it. Let's agree to disagree. That, that's the end of it. That's the end of it. Uh, what do you mean, like, CSGO? No, 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 I mean, you know, like, uh, like, some people play Tarkov only, and that's fine, but it's, I can't do it, man, I get burnt out on games too quickly. Uh, Exanima Main Quest isn't really exciting to replay, I mean, you can try to make it more exciting, but yeah. Yeah, you played Exanima for years, it's understandable, yeah. Arena, on the other hand, yeah. Even Arena is the same shit eventually, that's right, Glooms. Play like two to three games a week, not too many, not too few. I mean, that's that's fine. I can do that. The point of porn mods is eggplant. <laughs> Did I miss the memo for crybaby day? <laughs> I mean, we got Odin over here doing a fisting only run to keep it exciting. I mean, I try, man. I try to keep it fresh. Uh, Alright. This is a... Uh, as you finish a game, bring another one in. I mean, if y'all would prefer that I make a schedule so you know what I'm going to play, I'll do it. I have no problem with that. That's fine. Hey, what's up, Froctopus? How's it going? Uh, play what you want, when you want, Holmes. Fuck the haters. Juggalo fam for life. Whoop, whoop. Okay. 
All right, so this is a travel event. This happened to us on the road. Your warriors hear a cacophony from a nearby cave and decide to investigate. Apparently, I can only choose one person, so I'm going to choose Marcus. Oh, no, I guess we get to use all three. All right. The Blood Knight. Schedule suck the fun out? I don't know. I can grind games. I used to play Street Fighter religiously every day. But I could do stuff besides that, like talking on the phone and listening to music, yeah. Surprise games is better. I just go into streams blind. Okay, sire. And okay, owl. Motherfuckers just want to see you complete series, but if they want, go play the game, yo, Sith. Alright. Okay, as your warriors enter the cave, they see bodies littering the ground. Zombies, beastmen, and some undescribable messes. A large battle has taken place here. Locked in a cage above a pit stands a solitary vampire blood knight. The denizens of chaos laugh in guttural barks at their prize. Without help, he will soon join his brethren in death. This powerful fighter could be a useful addition to your party. Alright. Alright. I can get down with that. Oh my god, alright. Okay, there's the dude we're trying to rescue. We got an archer. We got... A second archer, we got a third archer. I think there's only three archers. Unless we're about to get ambushed, which we probably are. You don't necessarily need a schedule. It would be nice if you complete games once in a while. No, I see what you're saying, Petrov. Alright. Okay. Damn it. Dude, that shield is awesome. I've said it before, I'll say it again. That shield is freaking great! Uh, are Warhammer or Vampires the classic running water is bad for me types? I really, honestly, I don't know, sire. Open the door with the cloth caster like a bouse! Yes, I did. I did. The sorceress is, is fucking tough, man. This guy's resistant to slashing. This guy's not. There we go. And then I'm gonna step aside. And I'm gonna move... The wood elf right here. Alright, that's the best we could do. Oh wait, I still have another attack! Oh shit, I didn't even realize it. We used the mace. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I should have another attack. What the fuck, man? There we go. Ah! Uh, if he makes a schedule, six to eight Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays are taken. Oh, I see. Uh, 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 dandy joke, dude. Uh, never gets old. All right. All right, let's take this guy out. Oh, god damn it! How can you miss? There we go. I gotta try to get some some cover from these bitches. I'm thinking that'll do it, at least for a little bit. There we go. Take them both out. Take them both out. Shit. It's all right. Oh, I forgot to equip that bomb that I picked up. I actually thought that was a good one. You too, Artie. Uh, okay. And we're good, okay. Dude, come on. There we go. I'm gonna move way up there. 
And I'm going to move the archer up there. That should be alright for the moment. Alright, shield saved my ass. Oh, sh oh no, I'm on fire! Characters on burning tiles. What do you mean burning tiles? Was I, Did I... What? Will catch fire. They remain alight for three turns after leaving. Burning characters lose four hit points per turn. Fuck, dude. I didn't realize I had walked into a fire. Fuck. You gotta be kidding me right now. Shit. You're right in front of him! Alright, we got the death blow. That's good. How the hell are you gonna miss like that? There we go. There we go. Uh, wasn't there another... Yeah, there he is right there. Okay, he ain't gonna do nothing. Alright. Self-immolation is a thing, I guess. It's 9 in the fucking PM, and the neighbor decided it was okay to do some wall work. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Talking about Burnt Monk? Yep. Self-immolation blasts. Yeah, wall work, yeah. It could be anything, really. Uh, put him there. Put you there. And we'll move her up here. All right, now he comes out, and he doesn't—he doesn't even have enough action points to attack. That's sweet. Use that dagger. Oh, hell yeah! Oh uh, yeah! Ugh. Hammer and drill. Uh. Uh, I have gear for serious offenders, trust me. Okay. Ah, oh, this is our new... Oh, we got a Blood Knight. We got a Blood Knight. Alright. My brethren will destroy everything the last beastman rasps in the common tongue. Our plague will wash all life from this world, submit to chaos or suff. His last words are interrupted by his head separating from his body. The warriors agree that no life at all is definitely a bad thing. Forming an uneasy pact, the Vampire, Dark Elf, Wood Elf, and Human agree to fight the Chaos Incursion together. And yes, I want to continue my travel. Alright, hey, let me, let's take a real quick break. I'm going to go heat up my coffee real quick. I'll be right back, y'all. As always, thank you guys for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you guys in one minute. Alright, sorry about that, y'all. We're back. Okay. Ugh. Oh, the classic combo. I had a neighbor that for a few months was drilling something at 8pm every single fucking day. I know that you have to renovate once in a while, but fuck. A battery, a transformer, a 100 watt guitar amp, and a very sharp axe with strings on it. 
Uh, when I saw the map, I thought it would be some Mountain Blade type of deal. It's just a fancy level selection screen. All right. So the impression that I'm getting, at least from Petrov, apparently, is that it would be better if when I try a new game, I try to play the game all the way through. Every day, play it until I get all the way through it and then move to a new game. Is that is that accurate, Petrov? Would you say that that's, that's a true statement? No, I'm just trying to understand. All right. Like a rotation type of deal. I mean, here's... Okay, so here's the thing, Petrov. I don't have a problem doing that. Like, like this week, for instance, I could play... This week, I could play Minecraft Dungeons in the evenings. You know, I could play this Warhammer quest. Uh, I could play... Uh, what else was I playing recently? I don't even know. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with that. I can do that. It's just that... Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. The, the explanation doesn't matter. Uh, no, I'll take it into consideration. I'll take it into consideration. Alright, settlements contain various locations. Markets to buy weapons, equipment, and armor. Taverns to buy additional warriors. And training grounds, level up your warriors. All right, let's go to the market. The armor of Sigmar. 900 freaking gold. Chill blade, usable by the dark elf sorceress. 400 gold. We already have a dagger. An elven sword. An explosive pistol. A great axe. A great sword. Okay, so there's all kinds of stuff here to buy. A torch. Aura of Dark Majesty. Ah! Uh, Doom Bolt. Tools of Judgment. Elven Quiver. And a Potion of Curing. Do a just chatting stream where you drop acid and play hide and seek with your kitty for four hours. Why does it why does it always involve drugs? Wait, wait, a torch? 300 gold? I mean, it's a weapon. It sets fire to targets, too. It does crushing damage? Not a lot, but it sets uh, targets on fire. What's up, Yethui? Alright, so the market doesn't have anything for me. Let's go to the, the training grounds. There are no warriors ready to level up yet. Oh, okay, so you gotta do training grounds once they level. Alright. All right, the town square, cryptic, Midland, Act Two, and that's why we can't do nothing. A dirty man in dirty clothes is stood on a a dirty wooden box. It forms his makeshift stage. He continues, "We need Altdorf to send a regiment to drive out that broken horned abomination and his pack of ugly." But he stops mid sentence as he spies your warriors. Oi, you lot! Why don't you do some good in the world? There's a group of filthy beastmen who've infested our old chapel crypt. And that leader has some magic mace. Too much for us. Tell you what, get rid of them and we'll make it worth your while. His words garner murmurings of agreement from the crowd. Reclaiming the mace and killing beastmen. What is it they say about two birds and one stone? Yeah, not exactly a steal for several pounds of gold, yeah. Okay. So we have to go to the Chapel Crypt, which is up here. Alright, so let's go to the Crypt. Dude! That Blood Knight looks sweet! Alright. Morbid Angel Chapel of Ghouls, please. Uh... 
when you finna try Bannerlord again? I, I don't know. I might. I don't know. I don't know. I should try it probably sometime soon. What is what is today? Is it Thursday? It's Thursday. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's a vampire as well. All right. The chapel looms on the hill. Clues of its new occupants are strewn about the immediate landscape. It all feels a little too quiet as your warriors enter the crypt. Suddenly, howls and growls resonate from every corner. They knew you were coming. It's a trap! Time flies when you ain't working. It really does, man. Like, I already have to go back to work in, like... Like, 18 days or something. Imagine a world where Bannerlord 2 with mods worked on Odin's computer. He would ascend. He should try it. Yeah. I, mean, I just really don't think it's going to work, but... Oh, this place looks pretty sweet. What are we dealing with here? Archers. Melee. Oh, look at this dude. Broken horn. Melee. Melee and an archer and melee and what is this? Another arch God damn it. We've seen that the, the enemy AI doesn't care. It will not come to us. It will wait for us patiently. Uh okay. So I guess the Let's see. Actually, that's not a good idea. There we go. Let's move the elf up right here. Dude, this elf really sucks. I didn't know it was a phone game. Never heard of it before. I didn't know it was a phone game. Anyway, as if that's relevant, because I'm not playing it on a phone, but uh, it's $4 right now on Steam if you're interested in this game. By the way, the entire Warhammer uh, franchise is on sale on Steam right now. But I know, I know what the response is. Oh, there's never been a good Warhammer game. They're all shit. Okay, that's fine, but they're all on sale. Dude, we need that mace. Something tells me that mace is going to do a shit ton of damage. Alright, let's see what this guy can do. He's got a shield that's good. Alright, he does bludgeoning damage or whatever. Should be fine against this guy. There we go. Move up there. You know what? Actually, let's do that. And then move back there. And then let's move the mage right here. Oh, she can't attack him from there. Alright, that's fine. There we go. Got that death blow. Ah, oh, shit. That didn't help at all. I hope they don't have bombs. Because we're all standing really close together. Like, really close. Okay. You should make a short film. 18 days of freedom left. Oh, that'd be too depressing. Uh, five more days of vacation feels bad. Uh, mediocre games bought cheaply are as good as a good game bought full price. That's a good point, Artie. Dawn of War 1 and 2 are good. Yeah, I heard Total War Warhammer is pretty fucking good. Uh, I'm considering it to be my start with the Total War series. That or Shogun. Yeah. Uh... Okay. Alright, this is bad right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a shot. Oh, this dude's resistant to everything but slashing. Never mind. Let's move back. Take a, a wild shot here. Eh, ain't gonna do nothing. Nothing. 
So we need slashing. I, got, I need this guy on him. Can she? No, she can't hit him. Fuck, dude. I don't know if they can hit me from... I guess they can probably shoot arrows through there. I don't know. I know he's resistant to this shit, but whatever. God. That does not do a lot of damage. And, uh... Oh, we can't even get over there from here. I didn't even notice that. Okay. That's interesting. This dude's gonna shoot her, probably. I don't know if they can shoot through there. Let's find out. Twenty-eight damage. Ambushed by four more beast. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Andy's on fire for the love of fuck. You got to be fucking kidding me. Ah, she could have used the dagger. That didn't do shit. Uh, this guy's about to fucking die, by the way. He he gets four fire damage on his next turn. He has three HP. And I couldn't reach him to heal him anyway, even if I wanted to. Oh, that's pathetic. Well, welcome to the team! This is bad. This is bad. This is real fucking bad. Uh, knock down. Your warrior has been knocked down. Heal them before the end of your turn. If not, they will be removed from the dungeon and receive an injury. Shit, dude. This dude still has 39 HP left. He's weak to slash. Oh, and I missed both my death blow attacks. Jesus Christ, man. See, I can't I can't get to him to heal him. I can't get to him. He's fucked. He is fucked. That's great. Fucking shit. Oh, that does a hell of a lot of damage. Fucking great. Dude, this wood elf can handle herself with the melee shit. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! She's the only one who can heal, and she's she's down. Well, we're dead. I can't do anything. She can't heal herself, apparently. They're both down. They're going to disappear after this next... Ah, eh, it's over. Difficulty. You'll be happy to know that I didn't save at any point. All his attacks are crits. Yeah, man.
Some fights do not always go in your favor. Injured, your warriors flee the ambush to fight another day. Best leave this area quickly and continue your travels. Hmm. Potion of curing. Oh, it's disease. Ah, uh, let's see. He doesn't have an injury. She has an injury. I still... Okay, so EC is Empire Captain. This is Glade Guard, which is GG. And this is a Blood Knight, which is BK. It's hard to keep track of all what those all fucking stand for. The vampire projects an aspect of supremacy and dread. Action points takes two. All affected enemies lose three dexterity. And none of this is... I can't spend any of this money right now. And I don't know what there is to do. Oh. I guess there's no way to save it. Except when you leave the game. So it's kind of... That's kind of... That's difficult. If I'm not mistaken... Yeah, you can't say okay. Uh, sick. Yeah. Uh, good. We do it hardcore here, Mr. Odin's. Uh, oh, it's like their version of a tutorial opportunity. You're supposed to die. Expect this. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, what? What can I possibly do? We've already talked to them. Like, what? I mean, we just have to try it again, I guess, right? By the way, does anyone have the bomb equipped? I don't think anyone has the frickin' bomb. Wait, what? Oh, that's like party equipment. But if that's the case, who can use... Who can use the... F Where'd the fucking bomb go? Who has it? Where the fuck is it? There's the bomb! Oh, I guess it's because his, it's his, in, his inventory. Alright, whatever. Maybe that bomb will make a difference for us. Any other level available? If I remember correctly, are there not random battles, like to the left or right of town? I guess that's what those are, to level up. Okay, let's try that. Fighting Chaos. The armies of Chaos are everywhere. Environment Dungeon. Enemy. Beastman Gore. Difficulty. Easy. Reward. Stav. Okay. Good call, Glooms. And of course we got to deal with these debuffs from the injuries. As your warriors approach the large stone entrance, they hear the beating of drums and clashing of horns. Terrible trophies adorn the walls and blood and gore soak the floor. This must be the place. Prepare yourselves. Alright, yeah, this ain't shit. Archer, archer. Two archers. And no way for me to hide to get out of their range of fire. Like, uh, eh, I'm, I'm gonna get shot. Whatever. Crit!
Deflect and miss. I love it. Miss and miss. I love that. Now I'm going to get set on fire. I blocked it and I still got set on fire. What the fuck? Fucking give me a break, dude. Now does... I can't set him on fire even though I'm on fire, I guess. Yeah. Can't hit any of them. Damn it! That's alright. God damn it, I can't open my wine. Uh, I'm just looking for some screws. That's how that goes. I need to heal him, but I'm gonna wait till he's no longer on fire. It takes three turns. Whoa! That's a lot of rats. That's a lot of goddamn rats. Damn it! Now rats and bats have ambushed us. Bitch! Bitch! Ah! Uh. Ah! Oh, damn! I could have used shit. I could have used the sword. Whatever. I guess it's time to heal him even- Eh, it's not time to heal him though. I gotta wait till the fire's out. That's all there is to it. Clean and fucking house. 52 crit, yeah, man. Alright, now we can heal him. Alright, good. Good. Ah, oh, you bitch. Wait, what? There we go. Ah, oh. God! You suck! I'm telling you, man, that wood elf. Hey, what's up, uh... Oh, man. J Draenei Warrior? I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that name. Yep, apparently in the end times... Or the end times makes for strange bedfellows. Uh, yeah. Let's move it up. Alright, let's see what happens here. Alright, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. You can just call me Dre or Warrior. Gotcha. Thank you. Dr. Dre. Yeah. What up, man? Alright, I need to get... You know what? We can finish this right here. This rat. That's no problem. If I still want to attack, I've got to move... Well, I don't think I can hit anyone on this turn. Nah, we got to move out here. Yeah, I can. There we go. We got that. Get the sorceress doing her thing. Move up. And the archer... 
should still have an attack. There we go. There we go. Now the archer's hitting some shit. Uh, Mr. Glooms, I am not male, so I'm not that guy. <laughs> Medorano, I just went into the wine aisle and took first thing I've seen. Uh, you can call me Coomlord500. Uh, yeah, how about we just call you Gurnso? Alright, shield comes to the rescue again. Alright. Dude, another ambush? That's the second ambush in this place. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, now we can finish that one off. Okay, good, good, good. Then we can move up. Damn. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, she can hit this dude. Do it again, do it again. There we go. Uh, let's move her out of the way and bring the archer forward. Oh, you don't even have to move. There we go. Hell yeah. All right. Ambushes, I guess, are easy XP. Yeah. All right, now we can get out of here. You need a Dwarf Slayer in your team to add to the swag. Uh, I don't know. I Honestly, I don't even know what other classes are available. Apparently, like, a, a fair amount of them are available, but... Uh, so far, they've just been coming to the group through the story so far. Haven't been able to choose them, sadly. Alright, we got lots of gold. We got a Stav, which is usable by the DE. And I, so I already don't remember this stuff. The HE, the WD, and the GG. The GG was the what the the wood elf is something guard I just can't I can't remember this stuff wait one of your characters is a vampire yeah the blood knight is a vampire all they need to do is make this type of game on a triple-a budget that shit would sell as well as Nurgle zone hotcakes glaive guard there we go all right, your warriors emerge from the gloom caked in the blood of their foes. The air almost feels lighter in the absence of chaos. This quest was successful, but there will always be more of the enemy to slay. Your party continues their journey. Mr. Glooms is the local vampire. <laughs> All right, so there's something else right here. The Bow of Lauren. The enemy has something of great value. Your warriors should reclaim it. This is more difficult than the previous cave, but I really want a new bow. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is I want to see who would benefit the most from that staff. The, or the, yeah. Alright, hold on a damn, where is it? We had this problem last time. Is it only, is it only in Marcus's, like, inventory? I don't understand why I don't see it. Maybe they just have to be able to... I guess they just have to be able to use it. Ah, okay, because... Alright, hold on. Because she is a dark... She's a sorceress. But I don't... I don't see that on here. Eh, eh, whatever. Let's see who else it shows up for. It shows up here, too. It says the GG can use it. She's the, the glaive guard or whatever, so... I'm gonna put that as her weapon. That takes four action points, dude. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Uh, let's see. A Druchi witch, an Asrai archer, an Imperial warrior, and a vampire blood knight. What a strange team. Yeah, I know it is kind of weird. There's Gerzo singing that seal song again. I think you can rename your guys. Could they maybe have not made the menus blinding white? Yeah, I know. What up, Adela? Stab is usable by Dark Elf, Wood Elf. Oh, okay. Dark Elf. So oh, that. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Ah, you can change the names. Okay. So, uh, who wants to be the uh, the Empire Captain?
Change it to Odin swings and misses. I guess, okay, I guess I'm in charge here. Uh, you want to be the most useless? Okay. Well, hold up. This is the most useless one. So that's got to be Sire Loser. This is the Vamp Lord, so it obviously has to be Glooms. She crit, I mean, she crit for 52, like, once. Like, that was the only good thing she did. Uh, make me the sexy goth spider chick. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? Alright, there we go. Alright, we're gonna take this, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this shit. Alright, as your warriors approach the large stone entrance, they hear the beating of drums and clashing of horns. Terrible trophies adorn the walls and blood and gore soak the floor. This must be the place. Prepare yourselves. Wait, what? Did I miss Artie? Oh, I want to be knight. Oh, shit, Artie, I didn't even see that, man. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, Artie, I didn't, I didn't even see it, man. Fuck. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, good. He even called you daddy. Lots of people call me daddy. Seeing Kiss by a Rose. What is with you in that song, Gernzo? Get it out of your head, man. Mostly as My Little Pony Friends. Uh, okay. Holy shit. Well, here's the good news. Their archers can't do a lot with, uh, with these obstructions and with these guys in the way. So that's potentially a good thing here. Damn it. Uh, hmm. Is he going to be able to attack? Yeah, he should be. There we go. Alright, so we're going to get shot by that guy. Again, I hope they don't have bombs. I was saying that the unit is Night Daddy. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, you can uh, one-shot most of them. Yeah. Put me in front as the meat shield. Let it hurt. Dude, Sire is such a masochist. I'm so excited for Tarkov. Uh, can I be a Skaven? Yeah, if we come across a Skaven, that's you, uh, warrior. Uh, okay. Haha. Uh, how? Oh, okay, okay. He does have a line of sight. Never mind. I was going to say, what? Dude, come on. Come on. There we are. Ah! God, you suck! Oh, we got that death blow, thank God. That's great, that's great. Hey, Warrior, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hope you are enjoying the stream. Now, we're gonna move right up here. I know, you should punish me. Damn, Sire. Sire is all about that S&M. Holy crap. <laughs> Arrows from melee range. Isn't there supposed to be some kind of penalty for that? Or you know what I mean? Oh, shit. You know what? That reminds me. We've got that... It takes four action points. Jesus. I wonder if I can hit this dude from here. No, I can't. Wow. What can I say about that wood elf, man? 
Damn. Ah, oh, God, you're killing me. Well, at least we got one kill there. That's good. And uh, I can move right here to get in the way. Soak up some damage there. Oh, I know who you want to give you the death blow. Glooms, you want him to vampire suck you dry. Yeah. It's called roleplay. There's no way I'm into S&M or am I? No, you are. Uh, you'd think that the closer you are, the more accurate the bow is. But that's not usually how this type of thing... Uh, that this type of thing works. Of which bloodline is the vampire? I honestly don't know. Uh, you should go melee with the Wood Elf Sword. Uh, it's got three attacks. Uh, okay. Okay, uh... Damn, dude, that Blood Knight doesn't give a fuck! It, honestly, for the archer, it seems like the far, the further away she is, the better she does. Uh, alright. Jeez, man. Gotta be kidding me! Okay. Yeah, that thing is invincible, man. Uh, oh, good, an ambush. These hit chances are worse than XCOM. Uh, Von Karstein's my first bet, as they are the ones living near the Empire. Still can't hit him? What? Oh, come on. Oh, did I already switch wep- Oh, I already switched weapons, that's why. Okay. Oh, and now we're trapped. Because I'm so smart. Shit. Uh, duh, 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 duh. And Von Karstein are the coolest vampires, in my opinion, except for the Strigoi, maybe. But the Strigoi are just not playable in a game like this, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's try this thing out. Can't believe that takes four action points. There's one rat left. Whoops, whoops, come on, there we go. There we go. And we still ain't even done with this place.
A streak always kind of thing you'd be fighting as an enemy boss, not as a playable character, yeah. Holy crap. I mean, yeah, they're just rats, but, uh, wow. And, like, they're not even Skaven. They're just, like, regular-ass rats. There we go. Have your guys leveled up at all? I don't know. Uh, all this vampire talk reminded me of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and I have to replay it again. Just rats, yeah, just rats, but a shitload of them, yeah. You need Sigmar tier balls to be a vamp hunter in the Warhammer world. Oh, come on, dude. Move over there. There we go. All right, that's the best they can do. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Just what we needed another ambush. Uh,. First Bloodlines is goat tier. Uh, I hope Bloodlines 2 lives to half the hype. It would never will. Uh, can you burn the vampires in the first Bloodlines? Uh, doesn't have English as a first language, so doesn't know what's goat. Just means greatest of all time, warrior. Baphomet. Oh, like uh, Tom Brady in football. Exactly. Exactly. How much HP do they have? 11? Boom! You're dead. Alright, move you right there. Oh, got that death blow. Alright, move her there. are uh but dude all three of them are archers i didn't realize that damn shit in this ambush use melee for wood elf yeah uh what you need to add in this ambush is a demon lord of nurgle that would be funny oh i wish uh okay Damn it, man. This is... I have my melee people where I want my ranged people, and I have my ranged people where I want my melee people. Oh, thank God for that death blow shit. down there. Uh, Alright. Alright, there we go. No big deal. Damn, the, the Blood Knight's gotten really low on health. But he will be alright. There, that should be everybody. I think it's everybody.
pretty sure that's everybody, yeah. And we still got movement here, all right. All right, so we're supposed to get some special ass bow as a reward for this, so let's hope that that bow is worth the trouble. Uh, yeah, look at this. Odin and Gurnso have leveled up. There we go. But to level them up, you have to go to a town and, and go to the trainer. So we got the Bow of Lauren. Lots of damage over three shots. We got Slayer Bracers. Uh, that's good. And then we got some gold. All right. Uh, and I think the Stab would be better for the Dark Elf. I don't know. Why? If you think a special ass bow will stop me from missing, you're in for a nasty surprise. Alright, well done. Your warriors were successful. They struck a blow against Chaos and reclaimed the bow of Lauren. God, why do these things hurt my ears so fucking much? Uh, keep it or sell for generous coin. The choice is yours. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Alright, let's go... There's a trainer here, I think. Let's go back here. Wasn't there a trainer? Market and attack. Damn it, there's no trainer here. All right, we can, we have a fourth slot, so like, might as well have access to both of those bows. So there's that one. All right. Now what about what about the uh, what about the bracers? What? How do I equip those? Oh, you're in the Middenland, near the Reichland. Uh, Karaberg is not far from the Reich. Uh, Wood Elf's longsword is already pretty strong. Dark Elf got a crap dagger. Dark Elf won't move towards enemies for melee, so the four costs for the attack won't hurt her. Touche, Adela. I just want to unequip the shit. How do I... How do I... How do I just unequip it, man? I don't understand. I don't understand here. Maybe... Wait, do I have to, like, go over here, maybe, and try it? Like this? There we go. Okay. Now, again... What do we do with the... The, the frickin'... The... Bracer, or whatever. Where does that show up? Slayer Bracers is for Slayer class. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Alright. Fair enough. You know, I've never been in a tavern before. Let's see what we got here. We could buy an, another Empire Captain, or a War Dancer. Oh, 1100 gold. No, we can't. We can't buy that at all, but that looks pretty fucking sweet. I'm not gonna lie. Leap. Talismanic tattoos. Holy shit. Alright. Ooh! And slayers are dwarfs, most badass dwarfs. Nice. Alright, I guess there's a trainer over here. I thought there was one there. I don't know why I thought there was one there. Uh-oh. Ambushed. Click a warrior to change. We're taking our melee people in, dude. We're just going straight melee. 
Suddenly, the air around your party is filled with guttural, monstrous cries. Your warriors are under attack. You must deal with these aggressors. Besides, they may have some good loot. Well, we should fucking hope so. Fuck! Are you serious? Are you serious? These guys better be weak as shit. They only have two action points. 10 HP... 10 HP, 12 HP. Fuck, dude. Oh, you know, oh, uh, no. I could use a bomb, but I don't want to waste it. It would be pretty funny, though. Area weapons can attack multiple enemies. Click and drag the red target area to your chosen location. When in position, click once to attack. What do you mean, click and drag? my god. Leave me up front and save your lives. I'll stop them. You'd need a warrior priest of Sigmar if these are undead or a witch hunter. Well, that was a waste. Crit, baby. Oh, shit. I'm poisoned! Dude, we are dead as fuck. I didn't even think to bring the healing potion. Diseased warriors have vastly reduced strength and dexterity. Characters on diseased tiles will become infected. They remain infected for three turns. Dude. Dude, they're all- they're resistant to everything except slashing. Frickin' attacks do you get? Dude, I'm dead as fuck, man. I am dead as fuck. Ah, shit! It only takes them one action point to do two attacks. Is it time for Francis Warcry retreat? <laughs> I don't even know if I can retreat. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't think I can retreat. He can only do blunt damage, and it, it's just, it, the blunt damage just is horrible, man. There was no way I could have known. There was no way I could have known. Has it not been three turns yet, or do we keep getting re-diseased or something? Yeah, the mace hits do sound kind of strange. You're far from dead. Remember to move a tile over every other turn, and next turn you can throw a bomb. That's how it goes in the first playthroughs. You don't know things, you learn them, yeah. Oh, the bomb's not a one-time use. Oh, okay. Thank God for that crit. Right. Shit. 
shit. Ah, fucking killing me, Smalls. Jesus. <laughs> These bombs are useless, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is the weakest shit. That is the weakest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. And now I'm down. It's fucking fucked, man. And we're fucked. Ah, shit! And Gloom's got a fractured leg. Shit, man. Fucking hell, dude. Is The Sandlot your favorite movie? No, it ain't. Maybe bombs are very good against enemies who are susceptible to them. I mean, that could be. It's more like a fucking firecracker. Those are shitty bombs. Not made by dwarves, but by goblins, I'm sure. Yeah. Damn it, dude. All right, this should be a trainer, finally. All right, level up. Oh, good, it's going to cost me money to level up. That's always fun. Are you sure you want Odin to train for 20 gold? I mean, it doesn't seem like I can choose anything, so yeah. Odin reaches level 2, gains 5 hit points. All HP is restored and all injuries are cleared. Well, that's good. That's good. And then Gernzo level up. Gernzo reaches level 2, gains 1 inventory slot. That's cool. All HP is restored. All injuries are cleared. That's cool. Alright. Alright. Uh, we have 535 gold. That's nice. Usable by the Dark Elves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By, okay. By the, that's useful by a witch hunter, okay. By a blood knight. So the blood knight could use that. You know, the blood knight doesn't have any slashing damage, so I'm gonna buy this. I am buying that. That does a shitload of damage. It takes four action points, but uh, he needs that. Getting them gains. Yo! I love paying to level up in the Gothic series. That was fucking nice. You don't magically gain knowledge to skin animals. You search for a teacher, pay him, and then learn. Immersive. What up, cat? Uh, pocket sand would have been better than the bomb. Yeah, no kidding. What's up, kitty? Alright. So... I'd say we're still probably not strong enough to handle the damn story quest, so let's go to this one in the middle. Difficulty easy, you get a vampire shield, who cares? Uh, giant rats are the enemy, alright. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Or uh, wait, did I equip? Yeah, everything's equipped, okay. Alright, there are all manner of magical items in the old world. Some are kept safe while others fall into the hands of the enemy. There, This is one such item. The forces of chaos will surely be stronger with it. Destroy the enemy and reclaim the vampire shield. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really enjoying this fucking game. For $4? This is a $4 game right now. I mean, that's ridiculous. Hey, Odin, uh, there's that weird dumb cultist simulator. Oh yeah, I saw that, John. I don't understand it, but I saw it might be interesting. Yeah, I actually looked at that today, and I was like, what the hell is going on here? Uh, oh god, the wood elf has terrible posture, just like me. Hey, immersion, my friend. Immersion. There we go! We killed four rats with that bomb. That's what the hell I'm talking about.
Man, I sure do hope for your sake you do enjoy it. I do, man. Uh, cheaper than a hija at the dive strip bar. <laughs> Everybody loves a good hija, or maybe a bija, or even a rija. Or a fidja. Some people are into that. Alright, these guys are not immune to blunt damage or bashing damage, so I don't need to use that axe and use up all my action points. Ah, oh, you suck! Uh, see, like, really low- Oh, I forgot. I didn't even use the new bow. I didn't even think about it. Whatever. There we go. Alright. See, those shields- Those shields really are, uh, beneficial here. What about a Tija? Oh yeah, you can get a Tidja too if you like, Sire, if that's your thing. Odin only gets over the pants hidges. I don't discriminate. Over the pants, under the pants, I don't give a damn. Shit. As long as it's a Hidja, you know what I mean? Just as good? Yeah, no kidding, Smokey. What are y'all talking about this ABC? Uh, you'll... This is adult content, Petrov. That's why you don't understand. Alright, well this was easy as shit. All right, Grandpa Odin's. Hey, no problem, man. I'm just here to I'm here to learn the youngsters some things, man. All right, I think we can take on I think we can take on that that boss that beat us before. I think we can do it. I'd really like to level. I'd really like to level uh, Sire and Glooms, but that's not gonna happen. Yeah, we're talking about different types of hand-holding. Alright, gold, gold, there's the vampire shield, which I'm pretty sure our Blood Knight already has. Okay. We were better, of course we were better. Of course we were fucking better. Alright, we're gonna try it. Here's the, the final climactic battle for the, the early stream. Let me first check that shield and make sure that... Yeah, he already has a vampire shield. Okay. Oh, God. Alright, here we go again with this shit. A Bija, a Rija, a Hija, a Tija, a Fija. They're, those are all different types of hand holding. Okay, the chapel looms on the hill. Oh, we already read this. That's right, because we got our ass kicked here. We are not getting our ass kicked this time. Not this time. Alright, so obviously... The guy with the mace is our primary concern. But where is he? What up, cat? But where is he? I don't... Am I... Does anybody else see him? I guess it's that guy? No, it ain't that guy. Oh, there he is, back there. Dude, that's a much better start than we had last time. That's much better. Okay, I get it now. I regret asking because I'm eating, but I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Alright, well... I'm gonna try and, and get some cover, but... This cover is probably not going to help me at all. And this is kind of... There's kind of some cover here.
Maybe like that. Maybe like that. Dude, how much... Jesus Christ, how much health did she lose? And an ambush? It's the second turn! Well, we're dead. Well, we're fucking dead. Jesus Christ, man. Fuck, dude. Don't have enough action points to use the damn axe. Well, okay, okay. Takes care of the ambush. Death blow! Come out, do it again. Wait, I have. Yeah, do it again, do it again. There we go. Alright, so far we got this under control and this guy hasn't moved yet. What the hell? What what happened? Why, why are you talking about cock meat sandwiches? What the fuck? Critical! She's fucking down! What is with these archers? Son of a bitch! And she... God damn it! She's the only one with a health potion, so I can't save her. Fucking god damn it, man. Ah, shit. Hold on, I gotta let the cat out. And apparently we can't walk past your fucking corpse. Yeah, whatever. Some stupid shit. These arches are annoying as shit. Oh, for God's sake. There. What? Fuck, dude. I'm gonna use this axe. I'll take care of that. I keep forgetting about the new bow. Shit! I keep forgetting about that. Well, here we are. 
we got his bitch ass, just like that. Do that double bladed axe. Oh, death blow. And of course it doesn't it's not enough to do shit. How how can you not have line of sight there? And I can't use that new bow. Fuck it. Fuck it. Ah, oh, god damn it. There's another injury. Fuck. New bow time. Three shots, two of them missed. Isn't that just swell? Are you kidding me? What is with this camera? This makes no fucking sense. There we go. Back, welcome back. I cannot believe we have survived this long. This is ridiculous. Is he immune? No, he's not immune to any of this. Oh shit! Alright. The level aesthetics and decorations are nice in this game. I'm not edumacated enough to comment on the level design though. You realize that sexual prowess is not a matter of race, but rather individual thing unique to every human being. What? Oh, because he said once you go black. I see. Okay, no permanent damage, no permanent damage. That's good. Oh shit! Mace of Hellsturm. Used by Book, Brick, Ek, Gra, Whoop, and Wuh. And then we get some gold too. Hellsturm Blast, yeah. Broken Horn lies dead on the cold crypt ground. Retrieving the Mace of Hellsturm, your warriors can feel its power over the denizens of chaos. Maintaining their arrangement, they decide to travel the land together, fighting back against the foul invasion. Rumor has it that the town of Steppelhugel to the north has been unreachable for days. So that's three out of ten region quests. Once we do all ten of the region quests, we will unlock a new region on the map. Dude. Oh, man. Whew. All right. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. Unfortunately, we're at the end of the early stream today.